Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to do a little video on my dog's training journal. Um, last time with Elsa, I did like a binder with some fill out sheets that I made and that worked pretty well, but the problem I find is they're not very flexible and you have to be very flexible with dog training in general and especially service dog training because there's so many different like um, pieces to it. to do this time what I'm going to uh, experiment with is using a bullet journal style. So bullet journals, if you're not familiar with it, is a kind of make as you go calendar and you kind of adjust it to your lifestyle or what season you're in. And uh, it's typically used on this kind of paper, although you can do whatever paper you want. Um, but this just has little dots so it's really easy to create different charts and trackers as they call them. So if you're not familiar with bullet journaling, I would look that up. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be kind of my journey of trying to find a bullet journal um, system that works for me. So this is very simple right now. I just have, I have like a little intro. I'm gonna decorate it more. Um, I just have it like basic penciled right now. Um, when I go on my flight to go get him, I will probably do a lot more drawing and stuff in this since I'll have time, but I've been short for time recently, so it's coming too fast and also not fast enough because I just, I can't wait to meet him. Okay, so anyway, I have like a cover page and then the next one, which I'll skip, has a lot of his like pedigree and stuff on it, so it has some personal information I would say. So I'm not going to include that, but that's something I think is pretty cool to keep track of. So I have like his parents' names and um, also some notes that I was given from the evaluator that evaluated him. So I have some notes on that. I left a couple blank pages. I don't know if I'm going to do like a context um, or maybe if I want to put something else in here. And then I went ahead and don't think, because I'll be uploading this after my flight, so I don't think this information really matters, but I flied, um, or going to fly, uh, for you, it's going to be, I flew, uh, American Airlines, so those are the times I'm leaving, I'm leaving from Cincinnati, I'm going to Austin, Texas, so it's, a, it's about a two and a half hour flight, and uh, so I just have a basic calendar just for the first week, just to see what works. I'm going to note stuff in here, like um, maybe what I did or what I worked on. I'm not exactly sure yet. So a very basic calendar for the first week, picking them up on Wednesday. I'll be back at my house on Thursday. So, and then we'll have the rest of Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, for me personally, I like to start my calendars on Monday. Um, and leave the weekends at the end because um, I have bullet journals for a while so that's why I'm ending on Sunday not just because I've uh, picked him up Wednesday but in Sunday so the next week I'll start on Monday and then the next thing I have some week one goals I'm keeping it pretty simple we're just going to start our potty routine so get that started I want him to learn his name for sure and then should be able to get him also to sit, even though this is not going to be a full week of training. I think I can accomplish these three things, and maybe if he's really fast, we can maybe also do down, or maybe start some some recall, which kind of learning his name is going to have some recall in there as well. I'm also having a socialization list. This is mainly going to be probably airport stuff. I'm just going to note, like, things he's uh, seen, like what was his reaction. That way I have a note or basis to go back. Um, if something maybe scared him, I'll have a uh, note so I remember to go back and revisit that so he's not scared of it anymore or if he was thrown off on it or something like that. So good note for me. So I'm just keeping it really simple like this and we will see as we 
go through um, his training, how this kind of evolves. So I think this would be pretty cool for those following along. But yeah, so I'm just doing simple calendar, a goals list, and I am going to probably make a video on each one of these. Whenever I have my goals, I'll probably have a separate video on those. So um, I will probably add these to the description of this video. That way you can kind of like navigate through them with my socialization list. And I'll probably, at the end of the week, I will butt up um, how it worked for me. And I think, I think that's how I'm going to do these bullet journal videos. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, leave a comment down below. What do you think? And of course, I'm going to move on to after the week. Um, so you can see how I used it. All right, guys, we are back and with the bullet journal, a little different setup. I'm standing up uh, because it's in kind of our training setup. Um, but I don't feel like readjusting all the lights, so hopefully this works. So I forgot to bring my colored pencils on the plane, so all I did was the front page. It just still sketched. It needs to be uh, like pinned and uh, colored in, so that is our uh, cover page. It looks a lot better now. Really cool. All the lightsaber in there and everything. And then, okay, and now this is what um, it filled out to be. So obviously Wednesday was just the plane flight. Thursday was the plane uh, coming back. I put a little star. I'm putting stars for training and little dashes for notes. So we have a star here. He was airport outing. I estimated that as five hours. Um, I am going to count it as toward his training hours because it definitely was a lot of socialization and everything like that. And he wasn't totally kenneled up. Um, he, I let him poke his head out and stuff. So about five hours there. Friday, we did our first little training session. We did a little 10 minute kibble. Uh, we used some kibble intro to clicker and name. And uh, I have a note here that he started barking at Elsa. He wanted to play, so he was barking at her. Definitely kind of threw her off a little bit. She's not used to that, but getting used to it. Saturday was pretty full. We did a little outing to Lowe's, uh, like a two minute inside, and then we spent like 10 minutes in the parking lot. Um, another little training session, 10 minutes with kibble. Uh, Made a note, he did great for some crate time inside. He relaxed really easily. He slept through the night on Saturday, which was really nice. On uh, Friday, he woke up, at, I think, at 3 a.m. And then Sunday, he woke up, I think, at 4. So, did lots of little mini training sessions on Sunday. Also, we did a little car ride, and he waited in the car with Sam. Uh -uh. He, was, he is a little thrown off at cars, so that's... Now I'm riding in the car, so just like when you work on, it's kind of new to him. He warms up really fast, but like first, like two minutes in the car, he's kind of shaking. He doesn't really know what to do, and then he relaxes, so that's good. So that seems to be working as far as my little notes and stuff, and then we have our next page. Okay, so a week one goals. We have a couple things. I put little checks for stuff that was like completed and then a little arrows for uh, stuff I want to move to the next week. So learn name, he, he started it but he doesn't really know it so we put started and we're going to move it to next week. Same thing with sit. We did a lot of lure um, shaping, sit down and stand actually and a little bit of spin. So just kind of building up some sh uh, the shaping and luring behavior. So and also some uh, clicker training. So we did a lot more than this but this was our main goals. And I'm pretty happy how we did. We also have the end of the week training minutes. So I added up the out-home training minutes that we spent and the outing training minutes. Obviously, that's really high because the airport. So that's not going to be normal. Normally, we want at-home training higher than outings. So there's that. And then this is what I'm doing for socialization. I'm just putting a quick little note for the day. And then what it is. And like how he did. So like the bag carrier at the airport, he was okay with it. Crate in the car, he absolutely hated that. So we need to work on that. Crowds from the bag, he had a good reaction. 
hair dryer in the restroom spooked him. I'm not going to list everything, but, um, so definitely some of this stuff, I guess you could pause it if you want to read it. Spelling's not perfect, but basically that's what we did. So these are all the things that he's been, um, uh, exposed to. Yes, I know I spelled leaf like five different ways down here, but oh well. But yeah, he's done really good. He's, uh, he, he bounces back super quick, and he doesn't care about a lot of stuff, so that's awesome. But anyway, so that's our socialization list, and I kind of like how this is going. So for week two, I'll go ahead and show you guys. I have it written out, basically the same thing, but we have a full week now. And uh, we're going to do the same thing there. And same thing here. Now we have a lot more week goals for week two. Of course, we want to continue our sit. I went ahead and add down and watch me and stand because I've been shaping those. I don't know if we'll be able to add the word yet, but I'm going to continue to shape those. Definitely want to work on some walking. He's really good at walking on a leash, but we want to work more on that. Um, if I pull him, like I want to pull him a direction, he like freezes up, bucks back and like a little bunking bronco. So I want to teach him that to give into leash pressure. So that's going to be something we're going to do this week. Continue learning our name. We might go ahead and do touch. Not sure yet. Depends on how sit down and watch me is going. He's such a quick learner though. So I think by the end of the week, maybe Friday, we'll start touch. And then he's good in the crate. But I want, I want to start adding the word to it and have him go in. So we're going to do go to crate. So pretty good. But everything else is about the same. And that is our setup for week two and what we did for week one. Let me know, guys, no. <laughs> Tongue twisted, sorry. Let me know, guys, what you guys think of this video. If there's a way I could do it better. Um, I don't want to like spend the whole time talking about everything I did. That's what my vlog's for. This is kind of showing you how I'm writing it down. That's kind of the goal for these videos. Whoops. And he is sleeping right behind me. So anyway, give a thumbs up if you like this video. I will probably be doing next week and what I'll probably be doing is just like this where it will be the completed week two and then uh, if I change anything for a week three. I think that's how I'm going to do it. So. We have the, both the pups <laughs> sitting by me while I am doing this video. And uh, yeah, I need to get to work. So, hi, baby.